A lot of people think that building a PC is too complicated, or that it's something for only serious enthusiasts. But NZXT wants to change all of that with their new build kits. An all-in-one box that has everything that you need to build your very own PC, even if you've never done it before. PCs are often seen as powerful devices made up of expensive and delicate electronics. That's intimidating for a lot of people, but it's not as hard to build a PC as you might think. What I find most intimidating is picking the right part. There are literally an infinite number of configurations and components available, which is why PC building is so popular. It gives everyone a chance to build something unique. When NZXT reached out to me with their build kit, I jumped at the opportunity to try it out. You see, I've been a proponent of simplifying PC building to all my friends, family, and coworkers for a long time. And there are just so many positives to building your own PC long-term, including value for money. BuildKit is a mesh between product and service. Now, NZXT doesn't call it that, but I feel that it's just more than computer hardware being sold. There are two hardware configurations, or kits. You can get their Starter Pro Kit for $13.99, which includes an Intel i5-11400F, 16 gigs of RAM, and an RTX 3060 Ti. The other system that I have here with me is the Streaming Plus Kit for $15.99. This build is similar to the Starter Pro, but it has an AMD Ryzen 5 5600X and a liquid cooler. So here we are, I have the NZXT build kit box. This is how it arrived at my doorstep. This isn't actually much bigger than what you would get uh, when you order a, a pre-assembled uh, PC. Um, so why don't we get this open? I'm gonna slide it up this way. And... Okay, oh wow. So, this is interesting, okay. We have this nice little placemat kind of looking thing that has all of our components labeled. So our motherboard's A, NVMe drive is D, our GPU is J, so that's really nice. Uh, a checklist, use this checklist to track your progress throughout the build. That's nice, it has levels one, two, three, all the way up to 12. And then this was actually what I was most excited about. NZXT had said that each build kit will come with an illustrated booklet. So just looking at this, oh, this is really detailed. You have some really nice illustrations sort of just telling you how to assemble your PC. So level one, installing the memory. Let's see what this looks like. And they even labeled RAM slots two and four. So you have the most optimal location for the RAM. It's a pretty dense book too. This is like a lot of reading material. This is nice. What else do we have in here? So it looks like our motherboard did not come in the original manufacturer's box, but instead NZXT has put it in its own box and they have each item clearly labeled. So this is A, and again, it's got a little QR code in there. Our graphics card, Ugh. our Gigabyte RTX 3060 Ti is definitely in the original box. They just seem to have added a sticker. It could have been opened. I don't see a security sticker. It smells new. We have our NZXT kit. So this is everything that we need to build the PC. And then bag contains parts B, C, D, and I. So we'll see what's in there. AIO or the all-in-one cooler that NZXT makes. And we have a Seasonic power supply and 80 plus bronze S12. 3650 watt power supply. Okay, and then finally, we have our case. Let me get all this packaging out the way. And this is the H510 case from NZXT. Again, labeled with the letter G. The CPU seems to be in this box. Electrosensitive device. Do not open or handle except with the static free workstation. So maybe I'll hold off on doing that. Actually, no. And so in here, 
We have our Wi-Fi card. We have our AMD CPU. We have our RAM. And last but not least, we have our NVMe SSD drive. So I think we have everything that we need to start building. I do want to jump in here. It wasn't until later that I realized that I was missing my rear IO shield for my motherboard and my motherboard's manual. So there are some quality control issues. I did reach out to customer service via online chat and they were able to ship me my missing component overnight. I asked NZXT about this and they said, we will always do our best to make sure that the issue is corrected as quickly as possible. I'm not gonna go over each step of the process and I'll just speak generally about my experience following the instructions closely. What really caught my attention is the quality of the book to elevate it above a simple set of A to Z instructions. There's a quest throughout the book. You are navigating through a temple, finding various PC components, leading you to the treasure chamber. Let me just read you this GPU passage. You've come into a large chamber with an ancient GPU hanging above the pathway. You will need to solve the ancient puzzle and properly seat the GPU if you want to proceed to the next room. But be very careful. The GPU appears to be very rare and valuable treasure. I mean, come on, that's really cute. You can't really knock that, I mean, come on. But it's not without its faults. There are some oversimplifications and generalizations that can trip up new builders. The booklet does need to cater to different models and manufacturers of components, so I get it. But in one instance, the printed label on my motherboard's cooling pump header didn't match the examples listed in the book. The labeling was different enough that I felt that I needed help to be sure that I would get it right the first time. That's where NZXT's phone support came in with a dedicated number for build kit. And you get to speak to a real person. No phone tree, no automated systems, just another human after a short wait. The technician was able to pull up my order and using the information, he was able to identify my specific motherboard information. Once he knew where I was stuck, he gave me clear instructions using the label that was printed on the board in front of me. Having this kind of help a phone call away is super clutch. It really is a game changer for those who might be hesitant to take on something this complex alone. If I hadn't built a PC before, I would have had to call back for this cable management diagram. It's downright confusing and intimidating. I think the problem is the color coordinated labels for the cables. It just doesn't match what you're seeing in real life. When you're looking at an open PC, you just see an octopus of black cables rather than these bright colors in the booklet. Luckily, you can just shove all those cables in the back of the PC with no downgrade in performance. And it's purely an aesthetic choice, but beginners might not know that. The build kit also has a set of instructional videos that work in tandem with the booklet. At the beginning of each chapter, there is a QR code that links to a video for that specific step. There are also conveniently placed QR codes on each component's box. At the time of filming, only about half of the instructional videos were available. They are well produced with close-ups of small details that the book illustrations might have missed. The videos do use some acronyms and language that only a seasoned PC builder would know. So I expect that first time builders are going to need to watch these videos two or three times. One issue that I see arising is the lack of instructions or hand-holding after powering on the machine. NZXT doesn't provide any guidance on BIOS settings, including XMP. Uh, without XMP enabled, it is likely that your RAM will operate at a lower speed than advertised, and that was the case with my build kit. The RAM in the system operated at 2400 MHz instead of the advertised 3200 MHz. I spoke with NZXT about this, and they said it's something it's looking into addressing in future revisions. We'll see how quickly NZXT is able to implement this, but it's good that it's aware of the issue. BuildKit has already enabled NZXT's customers to build their own PCs. I feel that they should be also shown a bit of the advanced software side of the building experience as well. 
Windows 10 does come preloaded with the NVMe drive, and NZXT says that Windows 11 build kits will arrive at a later date. I did check my PC and it is compatible with Windows 11 and I can upgrade it now if I wanted to. It did take some work on enabling TPM 2.0 on it. Again, NZXT, some BIOS introductions would be great for first timers. The good thing is, is that the booklet does link to a blog post where users are guided on how to download and install the latest GPU and motherboard drivers. So that's a plus. Building your own desktop PC is a satisfying experience and NTXT's build kit makes the process mostly painless. The price is a bit higher than buying parts separately, but I did find an almost identical build that is similarly spec at a big box store that was way more expensive than the build kit by a few hundred dollars. I do expect prices to fluctuate as retailers struggle with supply chain issues. What you're getting is not just a functioning PC, but also the confidence and ability to upgrade the machine later on. Adding more RAM or upgrading the GPU won't feel as daunting. I think that the build kit instructions are well put together, the illustrations keep the process fun for all ages, and getting from A to B takes about two hours, give or take, and it's just as entertaining as doing a jigsaw puzzle or assembling a Lego kit. But at the end of it, you have a fully functioning PC for school, work, or let's be honest, gaming. If you're interested in checking out a build kit for yourself, I've left a link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to CNET for more PC gaming videos. See ya.